Hello everyone, this is Munna back with another exclusive demo video on MWB bookings for WooCommerce free plugins, updated layout and newly added features. So let's start with the demo video and see what are the UI updates and newly added features in this free plugin. So we are on the WordPress dashboard. So let us first see how to install the plugin. So we have mentioned the link of the free plugin in the description contents so you can download it from there or you can go to wordpress org and search for mwb bookings and here you can click on to download the plugin so let's click on this and you have to click on download so as you can see that the zip file is being downloaded so let's again go back to the backend and let's hover on plugins and let's click on add new and then you have to click on upload plugin and then you have to choose the zip file that you have downloaded from the wordpress.org or you have downloaded uh, by visiting the link mentioned in the description content so let's click on this and let's open it and let's click on install now as you can see that the plugin has been installed now let's click on activate plugin so as you can see that the plugin has been activated so now let's move to the backend settings of MWB bookings for WooCommerce free plugin. So we are on the backend settings of MWB bookings for WooCommerce free plugin. So as you can see that there is a major update in the UI. So as you can see that the settings that were here have been shifted to here and new tabs have been added like booking form settings, availability settings, bookings calendar. And as you can see that this is the overview tab and this is the developer tab. So let's first start with the general settings. So the very first setting in the general settings is enable the plugin. So from here uh, by clicking on this toggle button, the admin can enable the functionality of MWB bookings for WooCommerce plugin. Next field is enable the bookings. So from here as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button. So we have added this field in order to decide like if the admin wants to allow bookings feature with, within the store like if admin disables this so all the functionalities except bookings will work and if this functionality is disabled so the customers will not be able to do the bookings so if you want to uh, don't allow the bookings on your store so you can uh, disable this or if you want to enable the bookings so you can enable it from here. So once you have uh, configured the settings, make sure you have to click on save settings. So if you will not save the settings, so the uh, configuration or the changes that you have done will not be reflected on the front end. So now let's move to next tab that is booking form settings. So we are on the booking form settings. So we have added this settings so that the merchants can decide which uh, included services he wants to show on the shop page. So. Uh, if you want to show the included services so you can click on this toggle button so this functionality will be enabled to show included services to the customers so whatever the booking services that you have created will be visible or will be shown to the customers on the booking form so let's click on booking services so here from here you can add the new booking services if you want so uh, for this i will be explaining you in detail so let's again go back to the backend settings so uh, for the booking, how to create booking services, I will be explaining you after some time. Next field is show totals. So with this field of show total, so this functionality is added so that the admin can decide to show the totals booking cost display on the front end booking form. So this functionality can be enabled so that the customer can get the knowledge about the about their booking cost. So from here you can enable to show the totals. So after doing the changes, you have to click on save settings. So uh, this was all about the booking form settings tab. Now let's move to next tab that is availability settings. So we are on the availability settings tab. So this tab we have added so that the admin or the merchants can control the accurate starting time of the booking and daily end time of the booking. So this will help the admin to select the slot between the between which the customers can do the bookings. So from here you can uh, select the daily start time like I have selected like this and you can also select the daily end time so this is how you can uh, uh, select the daily start time and daily end time so between which the customers can book the slots for the bookable resources so after doing the changes you have to click on save settings so the settings have been saved successfully now let's move to next tab that is bookings calendar so we are on the bookings calendar tab 
so from here the admin can easily manage and check the details bookings for different months that has that has been made by the customers here it will also ease out the process for the admin to plan out the workflow and how to schedule their bookings effectively so whatever the bookings that uh, that will be placed by the customers so here uh, it will list out all the upcoming booking so here from here the admin can check the all the list of all upcoming bookings so this was all about the bookings calendar now let us see how to create a bookable resource so for creating a bookable resource you have to go to the products and click on all products we are on the products tab so from here as you can see that these are the already created bookable resources as you can see that so from here you can easily create your bookable resources as per your requirements and business needs so for creating a products so you have a bookable product so you have to click on add new and here you can decide the name of your bookable resource so i am deciding as daniel's apartment so i have given the name as daniel's apartment so uh, after deciding the name of your bookable resource you have to scroll down and from here you will be able to see that this product data so from here you have to click on and you have to select book, uh, booking product so as you can see that the related settings related to a bookable resource is coming here so the very first settings is general settings tab so first field is quantity so from here you can choose like customer can choose or fixed unit so when you will select or uh, or the admin will select the fixed unit so it means that the booking duration will be predefined to one or whatever the quantity you will decide that will be fixed so th this means that the customer will not be able to change or modify while placing a booking request if we decide like two so the uh, quantity will be fixed to two and the customer cannot change or alter that next uh, option is customer can choose so as soon as you will select on customer can choose so then the customer will be able to decide the booking quantity while placing a booking request so as per your requirements the uh, you can select any of the two options like fixed unit or customer can choose as per your requirements next is maximum booking per user so here you can decide like uh, like uh, you can limit the number of quantities uh, a user can book like uh, let me select like uh, four maximum booking per user so this means that maximum booking per user is limited to four and here you can decide the booking unit in days hours and minutes so i have selected for now is days if you want to select in hours or in minutes so you can do it so i have selected days next field is enable date selection so if you want to allow the customers to decide the date selection so you simply you can click on the stick box so it will let the customers to decide the date same goes for time selection so if you want to allow the customer to select the time so you can select the time selection to allow the customer to select the time for the bookable resources next uh, is booking confirmation so if you will click on this tick box so whenever the customer will place a booking request so it will require admin's approval for the booking confirmation next is cancellation allowed so if you want to allow the cancellation for a bookable resource simply you can click on this and you can decide the order sta statuses at which the cancellation will be allowed so i am selecting like on hold processing and pending payment so on these three order state statuses the cancellation will be allowed so this is how from the general settings tab you can easily facilitate your customers to select the dates time selection and you can also allow the cancellation to cancel the bookings as per your business requirements you can enable or disable these settings related to quantity maximum bookings per user and the booking unit so uh, let's move to next uh, tab that is cost settings so we are on the cost settings tab so as you can see that the very first uh, uh, very first field is unit cost so it is basically a cost unit for a bookable resource or you can also call it a main cost that is decided by the merchant or the admin so here you can decide the unit cost like i am selecting like 50 and if you want to decide like unit cost per people like uh, if you will uh, click on this tick box so the unit cost will be decided by per people like if there are four people so, so the unit cost per people will be 50 into 4 that will be 200 and if you want to decide the base cost so simply you can do uh, what does this means base cost means uh, you can uh, say that the uh, rental fee that a uh, admin can decide for a bookable resource like if i am deciding like uh, 20 
so the base cost uh, rental cost will be 20 and same goes for base cost per people so if you will click on this tick box so the base cost will be decided per people like if there are six people so the base cost will be six into 20 that is 120 so this uh, this base cost base cost per people and unit cost per people so you can click on the stick box as per your business requirements so if you want to add like to add additional cost please add booking cost so if you want to like add additional cost so, so from here you can click here and you will be redirected to the booking cost like uh, if you want to like uh, 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 select like I, I have decided like this uh, service tax so if you want to give the name as uh, I have decided the booking cost as hospitality and you have to select the uh, you have to select the select and if you want to give the description so you can uh, select the description and here you can decide the uh, booking cost of that service so I am deciding like 10 so next is multiply by number of people so if you want to uh, either multiply by number of people so the booking cost will uh, or the service or booking cost that you are uh, creating will be multiplied by the number of people like if you are if uh, there are 10 people so the booking cost will be multiplied by 10 people and if you want to multiply by duration like uh, if the duration of the booking is like of 4 days so the booking cost will also be calculated on the based uh, on the basis of multiply by duration so if you want to select uh, this multiply by duration so you can also select this next after uh, making all the changes and creating the booking cost you have to add new booking cost so as you can see that the new booking cost has been added so now let's again go back so we are on the people's tab so from here you can add people as an option so if you will click on this tick box so this will uh, let or it will offer an option people as an option to the customer to decide how many minimum number and maximum number of people is required to book a bookable resource so you can enable and decide it from here like uh, how many minimum number of people are required to book a resource like uh, I have decided like 1 and maximum number of people I have decided like 10 so this is how you can enable the people option so these are the settings that we have added in order to enhance your booking experience for your customers that will help you to increase customer engagement and increase your sales so now let's move to next tab that is services tab so we are on the services tab so here if you want to add extra services so you can click on this tick box and from here you can add additional service so let's click here so here as you can see that here you can create the booking services like for now I am creating like Wi-Fi let's select this slug and let's decide the service cost for the Wi-Fi like 30 and uh, let uh, if you want to like decide uh, the cost by number of people so simply you can click on this tick box or if you want to multiply by the booking duration so simply you can click on this and if you want to like uh, make uh, make this uh, optional if this service optional so you can click on this tick box and if you want to hide this service so simply you can click on this tick box so this service will be uh, not shown to the customers and if you uh, if uh, the services that you have selected is uh, is dependent on quantity so you can uh, alter the quantity like if it has quantity so you can decide the minimum quantity and maximum quantity also so here we have uh, given these all options so that you can easily customize your booking services as per your business requirements so you can decide your booking services by number of people you can decide the cost by number of people booking duration and if you want to hide this cost so you can click on this tick box so the services will be hidden and if uh, suppose you have uh, decided the services that has quantity so you can alter the quantity also you can uh, you can like decide the minimum quantity and the maximum quantity so let's click on add new booking services so as you can see that the booking service has been added so let's again go back and let's click on availability we are on the availability settings tab so if you want to choose the daily start time and time so you can visit here and as you will click on visit here so you will be redirected to this settings tab so as I have already explained you about this so let's again go back so once you have configured all the settings now you have to add like if you want to add like booking services that you have created like I have created the Wi-Fi service so let's click on this and let's add so Wi-Fi services has been added now let's add booking cost 
hospitality i have created and let's click on add and from here you can select like mwb booking product and if you want to choose the product image so you can click on set product image and you can select any of the product image as per your business requirements and let's click on set product image and after doing all the settings you have to click on publish so let's view the product so as you can see that this is the bookable resource that we have created along with the selected image and the name and the price that we have decided is coming here and as you can see that the whenever the customer uh, will come as you can see that uh, the customer are getting uh, the facility to decide the date like from which uh, date to which date uh, he is he can book the uh, particular bookable resource next as you can see that uh, the time is also coming here because we have enabled both the functionality to facilitate the customer to show the uh, time duration and the date duration so it's coming here and as you can see that minimum number of people as we have decided like one so it's coming here one and if you will like go beyond 10 so it will not exceed because we have decided the maximum booking uh, maximum people a uh, limit as 10 so this is how you can uh, you can uh, enable or disable or decide the number of people uh, as per your requirements next as you can see that the service cost is coming here and the base cost as you can see that is it's coming 80 because we have decided the base cost as 80 and uh, we have decided to multiply it by number of people so 4 into 20 that uh, that will come around dollar 80 and the general cost is rupees 200 next as you can see that this is the additional charge and this is the total number of bookable resource as you can see that for now it is one and if you will exceed above four so it will not go beyond four because we have decided the maximum booking limit as four so it's uh, coming here four so maximum the customer can book four because i have decided the limit as four so let's click on book now so let's view the card and let's place the order and let's click on this so as you can see that the order has been received now let's again go back to the my account and let's click on orders so as you can see that uh, these are the orders as you can see that so the option of cancel is coming here because we have decided the facility to facilitate the customers to cancel on the particular order status like on hold processing so if you want to cancel so simply you can click on cancel so the booking uh, will be cancelled so uh, let's again go back to the backend settings so we are on the wordpress dashboard so whenever the customer will place any bookings order so uh, we have provided a separate option from here the admin can click on this so he will be redirected to the booking order and here you can see that whatever the booking order are there so this will come as like booking order so let's click on this and from here you can set the status as on hold or like cancelled or you can set to it completed and you can uh, click on update so let's again go back to the shop page and let's refresh this so as you can see that the order has been completed so as you can see that uh, the actions are only for view and not cancel because uh, we have uh, set the order status like processing on hold uh, for the cancellation and not for completed or completed booking order so this was all about the demo video on mwb bookings for woocommerce free plugins updated ui and newly added features so if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel and like and share the video until the next video stay connected with us thank you